So, namaste, welcome to another flight report. Right now I am in Delhi and today you guys are in for quite a treat because I'll be flying Nepal Airlines on their brand new Airbus A330 from Delhi all the way to Kathmandu. The airline went through quite a rough time in the last past decade, even that rough that they had to sacrifice a goat in front of their 757, hoping that that would smooth an operation. But now if they've been going through a renewal, they use this new bird between Kathmandu, Doha, Dubai, and they're even planning to uh, fly to Japan. But yeah, so we will see what the new fleet is all about, what their business class is like, and I will take them back in economy class. So expect another video, a comprehensive review of their economy class. So now I'm gonna go to the lounge here uh, at Delhi airport, and then we're off to Kathmandu. And hopefully we get some nice views when we descend into Nepal. So let's do this. So if you travel Nepal Airlines from Delhi in business class, that will grant you access to the ITC lounge here at the airport. It's rather average, um, but it does has a little bit buffet, which is also that not that impressive, but hey, it gets you free water and a drink and uh, complimentary internet access, which is always an issue in uh, India if you don't have a phone number. But yeah, I got myself a little naan and then after this we'll head to the gate. There we go. So I just left the lounge, uh, gonna walk around, spot some airplanes. Uh, I reckon the flight is already yeah. two hours delayed. Uh, I just checked flight radar, it hasn't even left um, Kathmandu yet, so um, so with the views I promise we probably won't get them because by the time we depart New Delhi, I guess the sun has set already by then. Anyways, let's uh, explore Delhi airport a little bit. All aviation geeks should listen right now there is a 747 of Air India this is the only one that is still based here uh, in Delhi which is um, being prepared to fly to Jeddah and uh, the gate agent just told me sometimes they use it to Bombay if there's demand but this is the only one left that is based here in Delhi and then in the background there is an old Jet Airways 777 Ah oh dear, I really miss Jet Airways. It's a shame that they went bust, but uh, yeah, you can still see a lot of those um, uh, Jet Airways uh, airplanes. A lot of them are implemented now into other airlines. SpiceJet bought a lot of their 737s as well as Vistara's, uh, Vistara, and uh, then uh, I don't know what's happening to those uh, white body. Um, jet former Jet Airways uh, planes. If you know, let me know in the comment section below. So with a slight delay of just three hours, the Airbus has arrived in Delhi. So literally a reversed world here on Nepal Airlines. They have boarded the entire economy class cabin first and now business class travelers are allowed on board. They said uh, the cabin wasn't ready yet. There was still some cleaning going on in process. Uh, so yeah, they literally boarded 200 economy class passengers and now the uh, business class cabin is allowed to board. Hey, how are you? 
before anyone gets upset or angry I told him that I was going to film and whether he minds to be in the video his answer was no 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 problem so this is it welcome on board Nepal Airlines Airbus A330 and the first impression is it looks very slick it looks very new it looks very neat um, seats are very identical to um, lot 797 or even like Air India's uh, Dreamliner so it comes in a two, two, two configuration with 18 seats in total but uh, yeah crew seems to be extremely nice and everything looks actually very clean and new the airplane is only one year old and uh, it's one of the very last Airbus HE Series Dash 200 of the production line so that is how fresh this airplane is so but let me also give you a bit of a tour here of the seat and we start with the in-flight entertainment which is right in front of you and it's extremely responsive and it seems like this is all the movie choices we have let's see here oh, there's quite a few movies that is pretty nice Steve moments of Nepal. Yeah, all good. Festival going on. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, and I happen to have a very annoying passenger next to me. <laughs> but yeah, the in-flight entertainment actually looks pretty all right. And the screen is high definition and extremely responsive, actually. So, and it also comes with noise-canceling um, headphones. So Delhi airport is quite busy today so our departure has been moved to another slot so I guess the total delay is up to like four hours already. I hope we're gonna be on our way soon. So the dude next to me he took his shoes off and it smells and reeks so bad. I'm like I'm close to throwing up. So we've literally been inside this plane for an hour and we still haven't moved. Um, uh, as, I mean the captain tries to keep us updated but apparently due to the poor weather and uh, the heavy traffic at New Delhi we won't be taking off a taxi anytime soon apparently but also this air in the airplane has been sitting there for some time though it has put on the anti-collision anti light so it seems like that there is something happening here at Delhi airport so after almost 90 minutes inside the plane on the ground we finally being pushed back delay now probably like four and a half five hours almost
So dinner service is about to kick off and we got uh, some peanuts and look at the packaging. Isn't that beautiful with the uh, Airbus 320 and the Mount Everest in the background. I also got my drink and then uh, for my dinner I could choose between chicken and a vegetarian dish. Of course I'm gonna go for the chicken and uh, yeah. I gotta point out that the crew is super nice and the guy next to me is probably the biggest asshole I've ever met. Like he's shouting at them. He is uh, he has definitely has like no manners. Absolute like yeah. Like I have no words to describe his ignorance and uh, yeah. Unbelievable. So dinner just has arrived and it looks beautiful. Look at this. So I got some chicken rice, a bun, uh, a salad. Not quite sure what that is, but look at those beautiful salt and pepper shakers. Um, kind of reminds me of Biman Bangladesh when I flew with them last year, but Nepal Airlines definitely go on to win the award of the best table wear 2019 because this is just stunning amazing I really love that all right now let's see what it tastes like though it smells really good um, I'm a bit afraid it might be a bit too spicy but uh, um, in terms of presentation a plus really good So that was an excellent meal, I really liked it. And now I'm gonna show you guys how the bed goes flat. So I didn't go fully flat because the crew just told me that uh, they have to get the cabin ready for our descent. I mean, we're already descending into Kathmandu but you got a little idea, I guess, what it looks like when it goes completely flat. All right, um, yeah, it was a very, inter a very entertaining flight, um, but um, a full summary follows once we are on the ground in Kathmandu, Nepal. So, but, but before we touch down, I'm gonna have a quick coffee small delay of five hours we then finally landed in Kathmandu and when I look at this footage I am actually wondering why didn't the captain turn on the landing lights do you know please let me know in the comment section below So welcome to Kathmandu, after 5 hours I finally made it, however I encountered another hour of waiting time at the immigration. That is simply because of the fact that you have to share your personal data at a computer, you print it out, then you actually pay for your visa on arrival which is available for most citizens and then you actually get to queue at the immigration counter. So if you travel to Nepal, consider that and plan accordingly. So here I am, I'm staying with friends in Kathmandu, right in the heart of the city and today I've really learned what it's like when one person can spoil an entire experience and honestly uh, he was a terrible human being uh, the way he treated the cabin crew he's always like sister or sister and he was like always shouting for water and like he started talking to me like while boarding but I said like don't talk to me because he was always like super rude and then he didn't bother me most of the flight but damn what a weirdo as 
it was uh, it, it was something else. Definitely the worst passenger I've ever had, like or a seat neighbor. Um, anyways, I loved the Airbus 330 of Nepal Airlines. A beautiful, clean, sharp cabin, and but the real superstar is the cabin crew. They are so genuine, so nice, and I was so impressed how they kept up with that guy next to me and um yeah it was it was a beautiful experience and i really want to like now try them on a long haul flight because i think this is going to be so much more fun um but yeah nepal airlines you guys are on the right path that looks really good what you're offering right there so love it the whole package it was it was wonderfully uh, delivered and executed you have you have really a concept and you're following it through and that's what i love about it and i can't wait to actually fly back in three days and to experience your economy class product um because i think it's probably just as good so it was a lovely flight loved it nepal airlines you got all the potential just make something out of it um okay guys thank you so much for watching if you liked the video thumbs up let me know in the comment section below what you think of nepal airlines and uh if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead so you won't miss out on my economy class review of nepal airlines all right guys thank you so much for watching and wherever you're off to safe travels If you want to know what I think of Nepal Airlines brand new economy class, I suggest you to subscribe right now. Thank you!